Hello everyone, let's talk about what we are going to learn during this week. First of all, we will start with lesson 5-5, which is solve inequalities using multiplications or divisions. Uh, in the last week, we were talking about uh, inequalities also, but we did uh, addition and subtraction. Uh, do you remember the inverse relationship? Yeah, today we will do the same, but with multiplication or division inverse, which is the multiplicative inverse. Okay, as you can see from example number one, uh, if you have a word problem, first of all, you need to change it into math, okay, to, uh, into equation, then you need to solve it. Now, again, my goal is to isolate the variable whatever is the variable in this example we have the s i'm going to see what is the relation between these two numbers it's multiplication what is the inverse relationship so of course it's a division so i'm going to divide both sides over four this is the solution as you can see um, we have less or equal less or equal we are going to use a closed circle uh, to which side of the uh, number line we are going to put our arrow because it's less so to the left side in example number two you have to do the same but here we have a very important uh, يعني, procedure we have to do it be aware of it uh, the, uh, the factor here is a negative number in order to Isolate m, I need to divide over a negative number, yeah? When I divide over a negative number, inequalities uh, will flip the sign. يعني you have to change the direction of this uh, inequality. It was less or equal, it became greater or equal. So the rule says that if you divide or multiply inequalities with a negative number, you have to flip the direction of the inequality okay it was uh, less, uh, less or equal it became greater or equal don't forget that here you are going to to try it by your own you have we have another example here in order to isolate the r i need to do the inverse which is multiplication the same idea uh, so in uh, inequalities and equation we are going to uh, do the same procedure. The only difference, if you multiply or divide with a negative number, you have to flip the direction of the inequality. Of course, one of the most important difference that in equations, linear equations, we are going to have only one solution. But in the inequalities, I'm going to have so many solutions. Because of that, we are... Um, demonstrate that on a number line so all of these are solutions here all of these all of these are solutions for our inequality so the key concept here this is the main idea multiply or divide by a negative value reverse the inequality okay don't forget that now, in lesson 5-6, uh, we are going to solve two-step inequalities, the same idea. As you can see, we are uh, increasing the level of difficulty somehow. Uh, so, each time, we are adding another step. Here, instead of solving the inequality by one step, I need more than um, one step, two steps. But again, we are going to do the same as equations first of all i'm going to get rid of the uh, additive inverse then we are uh, going to get rid of the multiplicative inverse so if i have something added or subtracted from the uh, main variable we will cancel it first then we will see if i have something multiplied or divide with the variable don't forget that the only difference in uh, the procedure that if you multiply or divide with a negative number in the inequalities you need to flip uh, 
the inequality. Then you have to show your work uh, on the number of some of your example going to be word problems you need to translate that into uh, math then solve same as this example uh, notice that you have uh, to be able you must be able to deal with the fractions decimals whatever the type of numbers not only integers you can see here more and more examples and try so the main idea or the key concept like two-step uh, equations solving two-step inequalities involves carrying out two different operations addition or subtraction multiplication or division and like two-step equations which have a single solution two-step inequalities have multiple solutions because of that we will uh, present that on the number line you have so many practice uh, homeworks that will uh, send to you here you can see some of the uh, practice questions that we will go through the last lesson for us in this unit and in uh, this week is gonna be solve multi-step inequality same as multi-step equations here we have the same idea Sometimes we need to use the uh, distributive property first. Sometimes we need to uh, add like terms first, whatever the question is. As you can see here in this example, I need to uh, distribute first. Then I need to add like terms. Then I will end up with the two-step inequality. Then I will follow the rules. As you can see, Every time we are increasing uh, the level, level of, uh, let me not say difficulty, but the number of steps. They are going to follow the same steps usually. Okay, let's see this example. Here also you need to distribute, add like terms, um, then continue as usual. We have the try it part. You have to do it by your own. So solving multi-step inequalities is similar to solving multi-step equations. You may need to distribute, combine like terms. Uh, then of course you are going to use inverse relationships. Uh, this is an example. And again, because we are on the inequality part, we need to show our work on the number line. Your uh, BC is full of uh, very useful um, uh, videos and worksheets. You can see here many, many videos. Uh, I do recommend that you watch them, uh, do the practice part, uh, open the um, worksheets, solve this question. They are very helpful. Okay, grade 7. See you next week. Bye-bye.